Yeah, he just needs to go out there and, and play to do his best to stay out of foul trouble is going to be the, the main thing. But um, it's all going to be technique based. It's going to be like doing his work early, being physical without fouling. <laughs> and uh, that can be tough, as well as the way that Towns is shooting the ball making sure that there is a contest on that shot, whether it's Alpi or the guard who's playing and who's defending the pick and roll and figuring that out. So it's going to be a physical game for him, but definitely like a mental challenge for him, which is great. Like that's what we want this situation to be where um, he's guarding one of the best. He's playing at a, all-star level, I mean, above all-star level, borderline MVP level right now, Towns. And um, we got to make sure that uh, Alpi is locked into the game plan and then um, has the correct technique when it comes to how he's going to be attacked because it's going to be from the post, it's going to be from the elbow, it's going to be from the top of the floor, it's going to be all over the floor. So it's going to be a great challenge for him. On the mental challenge, you've got a bunch of guys who are going to play the cat that way for the first time. Yeah. Um, what is, how do you deal with just kind of the mental challenge of that aspect of what he brings? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to make too much out of it, first of all. Um, but you also want to kind of put it in the bucket of uh, distractions, making sure that you're not being distracted from what, the goal is or what the game plan is or what you're trying to get done. So, um, yeah, Pat Bev is one of the best in the league at getting under guys' skin. And uh, that'll be another kind of mental, as you're saying, a little mental challenge for our group to make sure we stay focused on what the goal is. Is there anything different you're looking for in this last week of the season or anything new you want to try? Or is it just you're kind of going with the same plan? Um, I guess the newness or different part is that these guys are out there together and we don't have the vets out there kind of mixed in. So um, giving these guys experience, giving them opportunities late game, like Usman was in late game the last couple games and um allowing Alpi to get starters minutes and starters responsibility, um, allowing Scoot and uh, Jalen to play together for extended periods of time and see how they play well together. So there's a lot of mini things that we're kind of looking at, but I wouldn't say there's anything like you no know, grand scheme going into the last week of the season. Do you feel like being able to see all those things to be valuable for your team moving forward? For sure, for sure. I mean, we, we're we going to learn a lot about guys. We're going to learn how we can kind of use them. We'll have some stuff that we can study over the summer as to whether it works or it doesn't, or maybe that we can tweak it a little bit. But um, this week will definitely give us more information on guys that we haven't had a bunch of information on. When you're building off-season plans for the players to take home, how much of it is going to be just continuing to hone their technique and how much of it is going to be actually things that you're seeing in game or on film that you want them to study? Both. Yeah, it'll be like half and half. <laughs> it'll be the individual game part where you need to work on your skill work, but it also will be the team game part where you're trying to um, – use those skills in a way that helps the team play better or use those skills in a way that helps your teammate play better. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of it will be, you know, yeah, you need to improve your three-point shooting, but then this is why and this is how and this is how it helps the group. When you talk about those improvements, what are some of the things you're seeing in Jalen Green that you want him to focus on in the offseason? Yeah, I, I mean, I think Jalen would tell you, better than I would, but he, he probably wants to get stronger this summer. And if he doesn't pick up a basketball all summer and get stronger, he's going to be a better player. So um, he's going he's gonna to have a ball in his hands all summer. So <laughs> that part won't be an issue because he's just uh, that kind of worker. And he is that kind of worker in the weight room. So uh, just him getting stronger is going to be a, a big uh, focus for him this summer. 
you mentioned that kind of increased run for Jalen with KPJ together. What have you seen in those kind of increased minutes together? I, I feel like they're playing well off of each other. They're sharing it with each other. They are um, looking for each other. They're understanding the gravity that is created when one or the other is in close proximity. So there's driving angles and there's plays to be made, made on the weak side. And they're, they're just finding a higher comfort level playing together. And that's very, very important. You talked about Marlon and the pounds uh, earlier as far as uh, defending him, but what about the support and cast he has around him? How hard is the game plan to stop those other guys as well? Yeah, I mean, they're super talented. <laughs> I mean, they have D'Lo who can get hot and is really, really hard to guard because he can shoot the three, he can shoot the floater, he can get into the paint. And then Edwards is playing at a great level this year. Um, they have guys off the bench who play well. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a big challenge for us. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to it, though. I mean, this is the last week of the season, and um, we're improving and we're, we're – the last three games have been gut wrenching because <laughs> we've been right there, the last possession, three games in a row, but also uh, with our young guys. So our guys are so competitive that the challenge ahead of playing a team like this, who is a playoff team, is something that they're looking forward to. When you look at the improvement that Anthony Evans made from one year to yeah. the next, is that something that you also look and see in your own rookie, Jalen Green? For sure, for sure. I mean, he had his struggles his rookie year and, and got better and better and better as the season progressed. And now look at him. He's he's a really, really talented basketball player, but it seems like the game has slowed down for him, just kind of how, how it has for Jalen. And uh, he's picking and choosing his spots instead of like kind of go, 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 which is a rookie thing to do. <laughs>